Welcome back, everyone. What are we doing? We're having a lot of fun is what we're doing. Our next guest is quite the seafood expert, and he is here to make steamed mussels with new potatoes and a grilled corn ragu that will have you coming back for seconds and thirds and fourths. Please welcome back award-winning chef and owner of Prawn, Mr. Mark Peel. Thank you. to have you. Thank you. Oh, welcome back here. I love your kitchen. Oh, do you love what we've done with the place? I love it. I love that sink. Thank you. You know what? We'll come to your restaurant and we'll do it with you. So, <laughs> mussels. Yes. I'm a big fan of mussels. And you say this is the perfect time to eat mussels. Yes. Because you should eat mussels in the months that have R's in them. Yes. Oh. Yes. Did now, you know this? This is a rule of thumb. This is not gospel. Okay? okay. Because what doesn't have an R in it is May, June, July, August. Yeah. So, but May is fine. June usually is too. September is still a little dicey, maybe, and it's just because that's when the water warms up and they spawn and they just, the texture is not as good. They're fragile. They go bad But they're faster. still edible. They're just not as yeah. good as they would be yeah. in the R months. Yeah. Oh, that's, that, isn't that interesting? It is. Yeah. That's a good rule of thumb. No and I, I suppose it also probably matters where you live. If you're living in Boston or you're living somewhere on the seaboard, they're probably Des Moines, okay. it's a little dicey. A little dicey. <laughs> <laughs> so it begins over here with yes. R because the mussels are the last part of this okay. entire equation. It starts yes. with our mirepoix over here. It's a mirepoix, classic mirepoix French. You got carrots, onion, celery. Okay. And then that cooks. You want to soften it up a little bit. And I have a recipe, but I don't read the recipe. So then... <laughs> well, you're why, the chef. It's okay. Why would I read a recipe? And then bacon. Now, now bacon, bacon is food. Yes. Now, bacon is great with uh, all those crustaceans, like uh, shrimp and mussels and clams. There's something about that smoky, sweet, chewy texture. It's great. I love it. And then, it's so delicious. that's some cooks. Oil? Cooks. Do you add olive oil there? We put some olive oil in. But you have to cook with a little olive oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then some of this garlic. Yes, that's part of the Holy Trinity. Actually, it's not. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, I love it should garlic. Be. It yes. should be. So you've got to have garlic. Could you use them? There is garlic in the paint in my house at home. <laughs> I tell you. So your house I just smells like garlic, garlic. constantly? Yes. You have that, no, no fear of vampires coming to visit. No. That you, and small children, so we have an Nutella glaze on the walls. <laughs> oh, yeah. Could you use pancetta as well? Yes. Okay. Yeah, pancetta is just bacon, but it's not smoked, and it's more of an attitude. Oh, right. right? That's, 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 and a little more expensive. That. Yes. Okay, now here's the, a little thing. This might be a little bit unusual. We grill the corn ahead of time. You don't need to light a barbecue. I do this in a cast iron skillet. Okay. And then we take it off the cob, just like, like that. How long See? do you grill it on your cast iron skillet? Oh, just a couple minutes. Okay. See how that works? Nice. And then, this is an interesting thing. You take the cob because there's a lot of flavor in there. Oh, is that a rule of thumb. I have never thought that I there was any no. flavor in that. That's fascinating. It's really. a cooking principle. Don't throw flavor away. But you don't put the it. you don't put the kernels in until a little bit later. A little later. These are already cooked. They're grilled. Okay. We don't need to. So we just put that in there. Oh. Thank you. You're the best. Is that chicken broth or is this that seafood is broth? Chicken broth. Okay. You can use seafood broth if you have it. Um, you can use if you're if you're uh, pesca is it pescatarian? pescatarian? Yes. Sure. You might want to use a seafood broth or a vegetable broth or just actually water works fine. Okay. Because you have so much flavor that you're infusing in here anyway already. Yes. Now you see. Then it oh, and simmers. The smell is like so good. I know. Doesn't that smell so good? And now the herbs? Oh. No, that goes Still right no. at the end. No. Still no herbs. Now the no. corn. Now the corn. Now the potatoes. Mm. You see, and what kind of potatoes are those? Oh, these are new potatoes. What is that? I'm new versus potatoes. old That's potatoes? Yeah. New potatoes or regular it's potatoes? New and improved. <laughs> new and improved? No. Uh, new potatoes are spring potatoes, so they're small, oh. they're firm, they're tender. Um, I like like me. Whole. <laughs> like <laughs> small, firm, and tender. <laughs> and are those like hard boiled? You cook those potatoes at all before you put them in? Yes, okay. those get steamed or roasted or whatever you want to do. Okay, cool so cut. then we simmer this, uh, covered for how long? Oh, five minutes. Okay, like, this okay. is a fast dish. Yeah, this okay. is like, like I've got mussels at home. What am I going to do? I'll cook them. And okay. then, <laughs> All right, Anyhow. so after the five minutes, then we five actually... Five minutes has passed. We right. add our herbs and our mussels. And the mussels go pretty quickly as well, don't they? Very quickly. You see, you want to make sure that they're closed. Uh, you know, they're, they're, some people are afraid of mussels or afraid of well, some whatever. Um, but if a mussel is slightly open and you go... And it closes up, it's fine. Okay. Really? That means it's still alive. 
But if it's if it just gapes open and it won't close, out. Throw it out. Oh, out. I've only ever heard if it's open. No, it. if it's it if it's if it's a little open, and you go, hello, <laughs> and then and then it talks back. It talks <laughs> back and right. says what? Okay. <laughs> and you then go. you just throw them in. And how long do those take? Five minutes at most. Now, what if they don't open? If they don't open, again, don't throw them away right away. Give them another half a minute, you know, mm -hmm. cooking, and then if it still doesn't open, then throw it away. Then throw it away. Yes. All right. So, at, all in all, this takes about 15 minutes. At most. At most. So here we are. Now somewhere oh, in the somewhere that. in the look process we put some green beans in there as well. Oh yes we did. We forgot the green beans. That's okay. Oh these are really good. You know what this is a great dish <laughs> you know for, just grab them over for many. Uh, what we call at my house festival of leftovers. Mm -hmm. yes, what, I've got I've got a small handful of green beans, in they go. I like it. Yeah, That's right. really that that makes um, leftovers sound so much better. Oh, totally. When you when you call it festival of leftovers, suddenly it's an event. <laughs> and now the I want to eat it. Green beans in the springtime are so good, mm -hmm. raw, even raw. Here, yeah, they're have so a, good. They have really a green are. bean. You see? So good for you. Aren't you glad you got this job? You get raw I've green I finished beans. my whole plate. Thank you. There. Oh so God. now there you go. Sir? You still have mm. to f actually finish oh, the I potatoes do? and the sauce. Oh, right. oh no, I don't, I'm not trying to rush mm. you. I'm saying we have to take these out. Oh yeah. Right? Because yes, you have to. You have a little more work to do over here, chef. So I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna help you out. Mm. Oh, you know what? Use use the best tools. Do you, do you have your germs hands. in your fingers? I mean, what's yeah. happening here? Well, if you cook for a while, you learn the difference between <laughs> what hurts and what is actually doing damage. <laughs> Neurological <laughs> damage. So and there if you it go. just hurts, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh my goodness. So over so, there, right? you have like that, your butter. And then we put the butter in, mm. carefully weighed out, and then a few little chopped herbs. And I would put in just a little bit more broth. Did we have a little more broth? broth? Well, there it is. All right, here it is. All right, so okay. now here we go. So, so we bring that over and we like, serve this beautiful. Ooh, oh, look at them but open. you see, they're yeah. starting to open already. No, they're not. Look, yeah, they look are. at that. Open this one. Oh, this is a beautiful. See here. Here's our hero. Look at how fat, plump that is. That's perfect. Wow. So, mm -hmm. so let those guys mm -hmm. come together a little longer. We'll take so, um, this over. If you're for doing them, if you're time. really assiduous, you would take them out one by one as they open, and they're perfect. Mm. And then the last wow. ones that won't open, out. Got it. Okay, here Good we know. go. I feel like this wow. has been school. That I know. I've I've heard heard so much. Do you guys take Do you notes? teach cooking yeah. class? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Then you take them out. Do you, and Mark, you spoon the ragu. cooking class? You know, I used to. They're hard. To teach. Okay, yeah. here we go. They're hard to These take. are the ones we're using. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's a lot of work. Here, so then we take this out and we throw it away somewhere. Okay. Right there is just fine. Fingers. See, but but we've derived <laughs> but we've derived flavor from that. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, now this these guys just go right back in. Well, how here, do we do no, it? Actually, what? Well, yes, yes, put yes, back yes, in? yes. We put them back in. And then and eat. then and give us the. Lesson when do you get to taste <laughs> some? Is what I want to know. You're gonna. And gonna then, if you want to make it really pretty. And we make it just kind of like spoon and it over. And you can serve it right on the table like that. Exactly. Oh, it looks so And what's so really fun pretty. is if it's kind of a communal dish and people just eat it and they have a little side plate where they can put the shells. Right there. Away they go. Can we just there. stick a bunch of bread in there? Chef, thank mm -hmm. you very much. Can this is absolutely something? delicious. Yes, please. I think we all agree and Debbie's right. going to agree in a minute when she has a little taste. For more from Mark, visit prawncoastal.com. Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. Watch this. And as always, oh. this recipe will be on website. Did you ever see this? Yes. Did you ever see I this? I about that. I learned yeah. this in course, Virginia. That's how you're supposed to do it. That's how you're supposed to do it. That's how you're supposed to do it. Just a little fork. Come with their own tool. Okay. Well, enjoy. You guys enjoy. Meanwhile, coming up next. Marissa, you're yes. up. What do you got? Yes, I have an amazing mm. happy tale about a, a foster dog who won my heart and won an amazing family. I can't wait for you to meet them. Oh,